Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, amazing video today. We're gonna react to rapid growth of Islam in unexpected countries by the amazing channel Muslim Convert Stories. Believe it or not, for me personally, traveling the world, seeing Islam in Indonesia, seeing Islam in Malaysia, in Thailand, in Asian countries, was mind-blowing to me. I couldn't believe what I saw. I was so ignorant on the subject matter. Of course, I know nowadays that Indonesia is the biggest Muslim population on this planet. But that being said, 2014, around eight years ago, when I was traveling with my backpack, I was absolutely shocked. I never believed believed that there could be Asians that actually are something else than Buddhist. So therefore, I'm very excited to see where Islam is spreading today. With no further ado, let's have a look. Islam has long been closely associated with the Middle East and certain sure. other countries Absolutely, such as man. Pakistan, Indonesia, and Malaysia. I would have cut it at Pakistan. This is what I associated Islam with, with Arab countries, Pakistan, and Turkey. In more recent times, Ignorant with the man. number of Christians moving away from the church and its commands, the count of converts in Western countries has increased drastically as people seek solace and peace in religion, mainly Islam. Yes, absolutely. This is what I will have to agree with, of course, because in the West, it's either liberalism or theism. What else is left? Even if you believe that you are conservative or a little bit religious, ultimately you fell prey to the liberal agenda. And therefore, it is liberalism versus true theism. Once you rediscover God, once you rediscover religion, you essentially want to serve God. This is what you truly want once you return from that generacy to a faithful life. But in many instances, especially for myself, this holds true, of course. You don't find the true worship of God within Christianity. You find a diluted version. You worship Mary, you worship Jesus, you worship many, many things aside from God. And therefore, this clear-cut connection from you to God can be lost. And this is why many people seek further and in the end find Islam. Islam. But Muslims in Korea, in Japan, in Mexico, in China, China. in Canada, in Argentina, in she Portugal, I do wasn't even Portugal, associate man. In Portugal, I didn't see any traces left of Islam. Islam with those countries? Not no, really. we do not. Because they seem far removed from Islam. The reality, sure. though, is that these nations are seeing rapid growth in the number of Muslims in very recent years. And there's nothing that anyone in opposition to Islam can do. I'm going to try to say this as nice as possible without getting deplatformed here. But as you can see on this picture, no more Muslims goes hand in hand with this little flag up here. To Islam hmm. can do. Strange. When Allah command kun, be, and it is, kun fire no kun. one, not her, not him, not me, not you, not anyone can stop or curb this unstoppable growth. It is, is interesting correct. to analyze these countries, and it is more important these stories of the burst in the Muslim population are told, because although Islam is the fastest growing religion, it isn't particularly understood, and that is a part of the agenda of Islamophobia that needs to be countered with facts and truths. In Kyushu, one of Japan's biggest islands, devout Muslims flock to the mosque on a Friday. These kind of scenes were unseen and unheard of a few decades ago, as the government has sought to attract migrant workers in the field of construction and IT. Scores of migrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Iran have made Japan home, and where there are Muslims, there will be religion, and there will be masjids. Japan has had approximately 250,000 Muslims in recent years. This growth 
That was has great, prompted man. the authorities That's what Japan needs. and the general Japanese population. The suicide rates in Japan are absolutely abhorrent, so they of course need God. Population to become more tolerant towards Muslims, with many restaurants offering halal food and more than 90 mosques across the Japanese archipelago. But most Japanese are unaware of the Japanese Muslims that Muslims live around now. them, as they are yet a minority. The growth in Muslims isn't just by migrants, but more now as families settle down and establish their homes in Japan. Currently, there are a number of second and third generation Muslims, and these hybrid Muslims will be exposed to diverse cultural backgrounds that will hopefully help to dispel the Islamophobic notions while bridging the gap between Muslims and others in Japan. I heard that there is very little, if not no, Islamophobia at all in Japan. Muslims from Japan that I've seen on YouTube reported that it is very, very easy to be Muslim in Japan. Japan's counterpart in the region, Korea, mm. has seen a similar steady rise in Muslims in recent years. Although the Muslim population comprises just 0.3% of the Korean population, Islam in Korea is going through a significant change. In the last 20 years, the number of Muslims living in Korea has increased five-fold to 150,000 adherents with around 45,000 ethnic Korean Muslims. Wow. In contrast that to That was Europe, my question. I was thinking if it's only refugees, immigrants, or if it is really Koreans. Where thousands of years of political, cultural, and religious interactions have shaped social attitudes toward Islam, Korea's Muslim population remains relatively unnoticed. Korea has had its Islamic influence through the years. 19th century seafaring merchants first introduced Islam to Korea, and in the 13th century, the Mongol conquest mm. of Korea witnessed an influx of Muslims right. from the multicultural Mongol notion to Korea. In the early 20th century, when the Japan Mongols annexed the false, Korean man. peninsula, Many Koreans fled to China, where they encountered Chinese Muslims, associated with them, converted to Islam, and returned to Korea after it was liberated from Japanese rule. This is from the beauty of Islam, from the times of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, when he and his followers fled Mecca to avoid the persecution at the hand of the pagans of the Quraysh tribe. They first migrated to Abyssinia, now known as Ethiopia and then to Medina. The people of Medina, known as the Ansar, the helpers, gave accommodation, food, and assistance in whatever way they could to enable the Muhajirun, the migrants from Mecca, to easily settle and establish themselves. The concept that all Muslims are brothers of one another, all Muslims belong to one community, one Ummah, and that all are equal in the sight of Allah, only being different on levels of piety, that too, known and judged only by Allah, enables Muslims to welcome others with arms outstretched and large hearts in pure intentions. Getting back to the Korean Muslims, a UN multinational force comprising many Turkish soldiers was dispatched to defend Korea during the Korean War. This influence also shaped the Korean attitudes toward Islam. Mm, now the Muslims in, in Korea video. are of two distinct origins the traditional community that converted in China and returned to Korea, and the immigrants who have come to Korea to work and study. The Korean government is facilitating ease for students of Muslim origin by establishing halal restaurants and musallas, places of prayer, within university compounds. These positive changes create a good impression in the minds of Muslim students who enjoy positive relationships with their Korean counterparts. That's the boundary amazing. between the traditional Muslims of Korea and the immigrant Muslim population is blurring because of intermarriages and them establishing themselves in the Korean community. The da'wah, preaching, conveying the message of Islam in Korea by the Muslims includes publishing, educating, and establishing Islamic facilities, while others migrate for marriage, and these networks aid in the spread of Islam. An Islamic scholar, Ismail al-Faruqi, once noted, all Muslims who have left their homelands to settle in non-Islamic countries, regardless of the external factors that led to their migration, see themselves as missionaries. 
than immigrants in the usual sense of the term. That's why the West As is Muslims afraid who of adhere this, to obviously. the teachings of the Quran and Hadith, it goes without saying that spreading Islam is an innate responsibility cultivated in us. Yet again, this is what the West hates. They want them to assimilate ultimately. If you bring in refugees, if you bring in immigrants, they should adapt to the culture, to the Western culture, to the liberalism, of course. And in many ways, I do understand that thought. But if you have that position, if you don't want any other culture infused into your own culture, then you cannot bring in any refugees nor immigrants. It's very, very simple. Of course, they will change your demographic. Of course, they will change your society. This is just common sense. That being said, I do applaud the Muslims, of course, that do not let go of their faith, that do truly believe in the truth of their faith. But that being said, in the West, you see a clash of cultures. The upon him said, convey from me even one verse. In the U.S., Hispanics formed only 1% of the Muslim population around 2009. But nine years later, the number jumped to I 7 heard there's a major increase as more Spanish speaking individuals and let's be honest Hispanics look like Arabs anyways bro <laughs> turn to Islam Hispanics hold See? a more favorable opinion towards look Islam no than Muslims when compared with <laughs> their amazing. white skinned counterparts the reason a lot of Hispanics convert to Islam is that they find it attractive that Islam emphasizes a personal and direct connection with God without the interference of an institution or clergy. That's the best part of Islam. These people period. from mainly Spanish colonies, such as El Salvador and Mexico, have for long sought the truth, but with little access to Islamic resources in the Spanish language, mm. they have been curtailed. Mexico, Muslims in Mexico, you heard it right. A predominantly Catholic country is unusual to even imagine that Muslims live there. But Muslims have to come to Mexico <laughs> in spurts through the years with immigrants from Lebanon, Syria, and other war-torn African nations. In the southern state of Chiapas, in the indigenous Mayan heartland of Mexico, there are Muslims who have formed a community of their own. Spanish Muslim migrants arrived, and the locals were intrigued by their practices and actions. They spread the word of Islam, and in some cases, entire families converted to Islam enabling the growth of Muslims. These indigenous people have blended with much ease as they have converted their scarves into a more Islamic headscarf. And their flowing indigenous dress code overlaps the Islamic modest dress code for women. These indigenous Mexican Muslims have seamlessly blended with Islam compared with their Mexican city counterparts. In the bigger Makes cities... Sense. As the number of Muslims the grows, are liberalized. it is not unusual to find a mosque and the Adhan, the, the Islamic Adhan. call to prayer, drifting with the wind to the ears of the passers-by. Wow. Catholic mothers didn't want their daughters to convert to Islam, but were pleased with the change in their lifestyle and the influence of Islam on them. Of the new Muslims of Mexico beautiful for women. find the practicality of Islam extremely pleasing, praying five times a day, connecting with your Creator, not eating pork and prohibition that of will be alcohol Mexican, is what the progressive, health conscious Mexican youth appreciate about Islam. Converts are fueling the growth in Mexico City, while high birth rates and large families spur it in rural regions. Just by that fact alone, Islam will take over because Muslims do produce children and the West does not. In the West, statistics show that people produce somewhat of 1.1 children. So most people in the West produce one child. Congratulations, think about this logically. Two people produce one child. So you decimated your society. You will have to produce at least three children in order to grow. Otherwise, you either decimate or you stay the same. It is simple math. And the West fails to see that. They're pursuing their own desires, their own education, instead of producing children. With that fact alone, Islam will take over. Simple. Good character and moral conduct of Muslims is a magnet that attracts the interest of non-Muslim communities. Even the poorest of the poor among the Muslims share food with neighbors of different faiths on their Eid days. Right. And they're open to assisting anyone in need despite their difficulties. 
This is the beauty of Islam, and this is the truth. Allah revealed Surah Nasr to the Prophet Muhammad. When the help comes from Allah in victory, and you see people entering Allah's religion in multitudes, then extol the praise of your Lord and pray to Him for forgiveness. For indeed, He is ever disposed to accept the repentance. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely amazing job. Yet again, Muslim convert stories. Go check out that channel if you haven't already. This is what really attracted me to Islam. I was looking for real conservation of family values, a real hard line of a family structure, of a conduct for society and spirituality alike. And I could not find it in any other religion. This is why I kept on digging, kept on looking into Islam. Don't you see how Islam comes as an antidote to the degeneracy of the West? People are fed up, man. They've been following their desires over and over again, pursuing careers, pursuing pleasure, dating, and what not. They had enough. They want a direct link to their creator and Islam is that solution. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, guys, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.